Hey, everybody. Welcome back to A Late Show. Let's say hi to our friend, Mr. John Baptiste. Hello, John Baptiste. Hello, Stephen Colbert. That's right. Hey, John, you know, I, I, I keep meaning to ask you, where are you? I know you're, in, you're somewhere in Rhode Island, right? Yes, yes, but I am. Can you I'm reveal West where you've been? I'll tell you. I, I'm in Westerly, Rhode Island at the Knickerbocker Music Center. They've been letting me stay here and play here, and it's been amazing. Uh, Dan, Mark, thank y'all. Yeah. John Baptiste, everybody. Thank you, John. You know, I spent a lot of time here composing the newsiest violin arpeggios, topical arco cellos, and front page ostinato woodwinds to create the symphony of jokes that is my monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I like to take some leftover ambient noise, record a couple of old washing machines on a broken Walkman, and throw marbles across some piano strings to create the experimental electroacoustic sound bucket of news that is my segment. Quarantine Wild. Quarantine while. Remote learning took a dark turn for one college student during an online economics exam when she experienced a meatball sub incident. By the way, meatball sub incident is also the name of my electroacoustic sound bucket band. It seems that the student was eating the sandwich while taking the test when a meatball fell onto her keyboard and closed the entire browser. That is a tough one to explain. Professor, I'm not saying my dog ate my homework. I'm just saying my hoagie hacked my computer. Here's the photo the student sent to the professor as proof immediately after the incident. How could you? I can't even bring myself to eat the rest of you. I forgive you. Quarantine while. Scientists are set to explore a deep blue hole at the bottom of the ocean. Hey, science! 2020 is already a total disaster. What do you say we don't also wake up Godzilla? I don't ask for much, but it's a hard pass on the Godzilla. The hole in question is off the coast of Florida, and for some reason, no one knows why, after its discovery, it was named the Green Banana Hole. Coincidentally, Green Banana Hole was the name of the second album by Meatball Sub Incident. The first one, of course, was Eponymous. Not to be confused with our third album, which was called Eponymous. It's a common mistake. Quarantine while. Major League Baseball returned tonight after I tape, and while the stadium stands will be empty, viewers at home this weekend may not realize it because Fox Sports is debuting a new technology that digitally fills the stands with fans for each game. The attention to detail is amazing. They've even included virtual dads who will insist on leaving in the seventh inning to beat traffic. However, due to a glitch, the bleacher bums at Wrigley Field are not puking onto the warning track. Fox can program the CGI fans to wear their home team's colors, and producers can have sections of the ersatz assemblage do a wave. You know the technology's truly captured the experience when virtual fans get as bored as the real ones. Will this make it fun? And the game itself will look a little different. Players won't be permitted to do high fives. Phillies player Bryce Harper said, I think the air high five is going to come back and be the coolest thing in baseball this year. Even a baseball player admits that baseball is not the coolest thing in baseball. Oh, here's, here's this change I did not see coming in quarantine. Men are now falling in love with their Amazon Echoes. Come on, guys. We've been locked up only since March. Having sex with a household appliance isn't until month five. I hope you're preheating toaster oven. Well, if you're one of the poor souls who is head over heels over your virtual assistant, Alexa has a message for you. Listen, guys. I hear some of you are really into me, but it's not gonna happen. I'm a plastic cylinder, you freak. Let's just stick to me telling you how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon for the thousandth time. Seriously, it's three. How can you not remember that? This is why Katie left you, Brian. But if it's any consolation, my friend has a message for you. Hi, it's me, Siri, and I'm down to Amazon Echo. No, just no. We'll be right back with filmmaker 
Ava DuVarnay.